right, guys. Just another rendition of your hole in the wall, Messy Miracle Bed CB shop. Let's see what's going on here with these Marys. Sound like Cupcake going crazy. Oh shit, he talking to Brown. Call him the Brown Donkey. Brown, you a Brown Donkey now. Sound like he real scared more than anything. Leave it alone. Uh, listen, I'm just telling you the way I'm hearing it, man. I know the way the public hearing it. They kind of figure, wow, look, he trying to he trying to be all bad. He's talking all pussy. He sounds scared. That's all. But I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna get back in the cut. He is a cupcake. Uh, no denying that. I know that. I was talking to Surf Brown. Brown, I was, I was talking to Surf that last round. Me and Surf were doing something. My bad. I'm back in the car. <laughs> I think he calls that indirect. You're gonna run, do you? I'm 
know who you are. Now I know who you are. You understand? I'm the serious one. You're the goofy one. I know. I already know that. I've been through that for years. Your brother is the serious one, and you're the clown. I already know that. Don't call your brother a right? What's the matter with this clown? Our radio ain't for starting trouble fights or creating mama drama. We having fun, we running shows, we talking skip, we talking yang. And we talk just as real to each other when we face to face, I'm clear. Do you know the meaning of shut the fuck up? Let Brown handle what Brown gonna handle, man. Ain't got nothing to do with you. You just gotta get in there. Okay, I'm quiet. My bad. My bad, but see, I have a big audience, not just Brown or you. I got the whole missing East Coast and then some. I'm back in my quiet chair. I had no plans on saying anything to you. You fucking stupid. Give a fuck. I had no plans of saying shit to you, because I know how to do it.
you see me tournament, look at my video games. I ain't mentioning you not one fucking video game I've made since I've been doing this shit. I'm not mentioning your fucking name, bro. Now, I'm not mentioning your fucking name by the one, nothing in that video game. You know, except because I said what I said, and I'm going to say the fucking game. Why you on this radio? Can't nobody on this fucking radio tell me who the fuck to talk to and who not to talk to. I don't tell you who the fuck to talk to. I don't tell you who to be friends with. I'm not friends with nobody. I'm associated on a shitty fucking radio. You see what I'm saying? Like I said before, you got problems with Richie, I don't. That's your fucking beef. Your fucking beef, bro, not mine. You see what I'm saying? You call me what you want to call me. I don't give a fuck. Just like you say, you don't give a fuck. I don't care. You ain't gonna speak to me, father. I don't care. You don't make me. You don't put money in my pocket. You don't live my lifestyle, bro. And I'm not here trying to be no motherfucking tough guy. But motherfucker don't talk to me any kind of fucking way. If you want respect, you want to give me, you gotta give respect, bro. That's just how it's going down. You see what I'm saying? That's how it's going down. Now, all that shit you're talking about, look at my video game. I ain't mentioning you, I ain't mentioning your fucking name in that one game. Not one. You see what I'm saying? I said what I said. Can't nobody tell me who the fuck to talk to on this radio. Nobody. I'm your fucking friends or not. Like I said, you got history with them? That's your problem. That's your, that's your history. It ain't mine. It ain't mine. He did work on my radio for me, I paid him for it. You see what I'm saying? I paid him for it. Nobody do nothing for me for you. I work hard for every fucking thing I got, bro. Every motherfucking thing. They don't come out here with the name calling and all this other shit, you know what I'm saying? That's that girl shit, that kid shit, like you say. That's that girl shit. Oh, no. You see what I'm saying? Don't talk around me. Well, you know I was out here. Don't talk around me. I'm fucking right here. Address me. Like I'm addressing you. Address me. All that shit you talking don't mean nothing to me, bro. Nothing. On top of that, have yourself a good day. <laughs> well, you got it right this time, bro. The rice just boiled over in Chinatown. The video gate clearly showing you saying, yes, sir, yes, sir, and this got him going out at this homo crazy. Yes, sir, yes, sir. I personally believe that if everybody in that man's receive told him get to the end of your day, he'd be so embarrassed he wouldn't even keep up no more. Because it's obvious going on eight years, he just too damn scared to handle his business. And believe me, he was with an arms let on the sidewalk many times. Many times searching for that fear. I don't know, man. I, I, I just think this is hilarious. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is funny. Just please don't say yes, sir, yes, sir, to Richie or else it's over. Oh, don't you dare call him that, man. No, 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 no. He's anything but courageous. I got a lot of sidewalk age to prove that. She said he was Minute Mouse. There you go, there you go. Now that fits. You know, sir, that's kind of funny because 
I once made reference to an FBI agent and his little sidekick as courageous cat at Minute Mouth. <laughs> I just can't believe that the video gates just captured this morning that the whole thing is over because me and you were talking and you said, yes, sir, yes, sir. You answered the question with yes, sir, yes, sir. And this has got him going off the deep end. <laughs> See, CK, the problem is, is that they are two different guys. His brother straightened you guys out years ago and didn't wait three, four, five years to put you, you know, straight about the real deal of the manhood in the field out here and, you know, why we do what we do our radio. Man, this kid suffered from ADD. I just think, I really honestly, I honestly think this is the jealous fag homo brain at work that he is so flipped out that me and Brown were talking about something and Brown said, yes, sir, yes, sir. And this is what's got him going berserk. <laughs> This is the biggest sucker on CB radio, according to the listening public, and an even bigger sucker on the sidewalk. A sidewalk sap sissy sucker. The hole in the world now, Crooklyn and Brooklyn, the king. <laughs> I don't care who you think you are. 
Question me, yes sir, yes sir. And he went, yo! Jesus. Uh, I guess your number one fan got jealous, brother. Well, I've been trying to tell everybody and nobody wants to listen to me. You see how he takes the recordings and he's trying to create this walk in the fantasy? Yo, dude, this man shows nothing out here, but in his brain he perceives to believe I'm gay and like big black men, and all he showed the public out here is that this is what he believes, and he is so jealous it's not him. You understand? I don't want to break his heart, but I'm not gay. Damn it. <laughs> Good sugar day. Two two five. Get in my arms length and you know, be do what you normally do, be your normal self, and we'll see who walks away from that spot sounding like they gay. What about the hell yes and all that bullshit? Alright there, two two five. And I gave you one transmission too many. You listen, you really need to stay quiet, dude. You're fucking 95 pounds soaking wet, and you're the spitting image of the girl on the voice of carry cover. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The, the other girl on the voice is carry cover. There's only one girl on that album cover, but I know everybody thinks it's two. Well, you look like that other one, homie. And I ain't talking about the brand name one, neither. I don't play soccer, man. You know, I don't know what I look like. 
You look like a little blonde skinny punk bitch. That's what you is. A skinny, dope, mean, cokehead, chicken headed, Jeremy Rusky, Pusky, enemy, punk, talk shit bitch. Who came to the sidewalk to ID somebody and then came the next time to hide with a camera. That's all you are, man. You're a punk bitch. I don't stutter. I didn't say it any clearer. And if I can get you within arm's length, I'll say it that way to your face. You're a punk bitch. And you're in your element. I'm clear. Alright, I'm back in the cut doing what I was doing here. I was supposed to work on realistic radio last night, but I wound up falling flat on my face. And the time I got up, the clock said two and change and shit. I go down to Channel 6 and Dr. Love whooping the shit out of these boys. I'm like, damn. Hey, which is a country? Keep it moving, dumb bitch. Well, I think y'all love this mess, man. Y'all... <laughs> How the hell can y'all argue every day? Crazy shit, man, oh man. Well, you know, it was never like that. It was usually just one-sided on some clown shit and all what I'm going to do and shit. But, you know, it, listen, this all got worse... Uh, the minute they came to the sidewalk, how many times? And I turned them out. Have them giving me money. You know what I'm saying? Backing them up on the sidewalk. Let the video games tell the story, bro. Listen to me. Listen to me. Hey, they just flipped out because they realize what the situation is. Richie told them dollar against an hour with your crack whore mother. Told them it's only going to end one way. Brought them off the mic. They Listen, their embarrassment in Johnny's mouth brought them off the mic. And then it all got proven to them, exactly the way I said. So it ain't been the same since. He just out here saving face. I think the whole listening in public just got to address it straight up the way it is. Yo, get to the end of your day because we don't want to hear it. And then the embarrassment of all that will stop him from keying up his mic. He never coming He never come in to handle his business. He ain't got the balls or the heart to bring the beef to the butcher. So what you going to do about it? Me, I'm having a good time over it, man. I think it's hilarious. Attention, attention. Richie don't go nowhere. He's a fat piece of shit. Attention, attention. Holy moly. Here we go. Okay, okay, okay. John said this morning I'm checking the mail. Hello, radio. You talk to me, I'm going to talk back to you. Good morning, radio. John Sheriff, make a ground plane, break a break. Morning, morning, foot, foot, foot. Just gotta say good morning, good morning but that's all. Good morning, Mr. 765, Mr. John Shell. I'm getting on down. What do you think?
I don't know what I've been shown. <laughs> on some clown shit, man. That's the real deal in the field out here, man. Waving it there, waving it there, uh, Bobcat. CK, I don't think you understand. When your magic moment comes, you are a dead man. You're the one not walking away. How me? I don't think you really realize, understand that. I think you do. That's why it's taken you eight years to, you know, you know, try to convince the public you that one. What up, Bobcat? I'm waving that, show me. The minute you get sick, caught, it's over. When you get caught, it's over. You've been playing the cat and mouse game for a long time. You've been playing the cat and mouse game for a long time. The minute you get caught, it's over. After as many times as y'all were on the sidewalk with me in arms and, and me back and use up, now it's all cat and mouse. CK, understand that the way the reality is staring you in the face every time you look in the mirror. When you get to that magic moment, you're done. Dead. Never again. Remember what I told you, homie? Make sure you tell those people you love that you love them. You're 127. And I ain't changing it. I'm not out here trying to mask up or change the reality. On some clown shit, man. That's the real deal of this real. When you get to your moment, you're dead. That's it. So you guys out uh, here premeditating murder? That's, that's, that's what we do right now in the band? You guys out uh, here premeditating murder? That, that, that's life. That may be a needle in the arm. You just put us out both feet, can't put out here premeditating murder that day. Well, listen, look, man. I, listen, as far as I'm concerned, man, I'm just protecting myself. I'm just exercising my right and protecting myself. When that Manhattan clown comes into Brooklyn and touches my flesh, I am taking him out. You understand? Nothing less, nothing more. I know you pussy, Cracky. I know what I see in you pussy, and you a bomb. I'll be anything you want. But if the public out here starts telling you get to the end of that day, I know you'll never key up again. You know what I know? Exactly what it is. <laughs> CK, I told you from day one, the beginning of your end. Homie, don't play that. There's no radio Rambo of me out here. That's why I never talk that kind of shit. But the minute y'all start talking that, I'll let you know. You see, I, let me tell you something. I'm the chief of 70 million motherfuckers that belong in a zoo out in the soil, understand me? And they know one thing. We don't gotta make the first move. We don't gotta bully or throw you around. We don't gotta talk tough. The bottom line is nobody moves, nobody gets hurt. When you get to your magic moment, you'll see why they got me coiled up in the fucking New York Times as a monster. You will meet the invincible monster. At your magic moment, it's the last thing you do. The sooner you realize this, you're better off you might be. Because I've done just about everything to try to save your punk bitch ass life. Now, I told you a little while, I said, no more Mr. Nice Guy, right? I'm going to help you get to your magic moment. And yes, as always, like six, seven times before, I will be there on that sidewalk all alone with as many as you got. And laughing about it. I'm clear. John, I promise you, when that boy gets to his moment on the sidewalk, it's over. Hey, John, I'm going to get some popcorn, man. I'm going to get some popcorn. I have it on standby. But John, what's really got me, what's really got me ticked off, really, honestly, I mean, I know certain people can't see it the way I do because I'm in the business. What's got me ticked off is after, you know, they were shown, look, y'all rap is weak, so is you motherfucking manhood. They start harassing everybody else on the band wave. You hear with anybody who talks to, listen, 
Look, they that pussy that they can't handle their beef. They want to harass and make everybody else miserable because their own mouth wrote them into embarrassment. So it's cracking, let's get it over with. What's up? Check is in the mail time. Now it's up, let's get it over with. What's up? Get to your magic moments, son. I'm going to be going out a whole lot more often. I make it easy. I made it easy for y'all all these years. I tell you, every time I'm walking out, Anybody who knows me knows one thing. Every night, between 9 and 9.30, you can rest assured Richie will be walking into this parking lot of this Caribbean supermarket. Every night, like clockwork, if that boy got to go shopping, every night, between 9 and 9.30. All right, with that, I'm clear. You know, you're causing drama because of this shit that's going on. Oh, I'm the one causing drama. No, 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 man. <coughs> From day one, I told you y'all drama and shit. And all I had to do was eloquently show that to your own eyes, not the public. They know me for three decades. They know what was getting ready to happen. They know what time it is. <laughs> they knew what they were up against. Y'all knew Jack Radio Rambo bitches didn't know. That's the sad part. I'm back at my quiet chat. I know you highly jealous. You think I'm gay and you want me to call the black man because you a big black man, you feel jealous. Look, those two brothers right there, my custies, they're not going to be on the sidewalk with me. You're not going to harass them anymore. One straightened you out two years ago and the other one straightened you out today. So that's, that's passe now. Now it's all about me again. With that, I'm back in my cut. Sidewalk with you, he ain't none of that nigga. Keep it moving, man. I'm gonna disrespect y'all no matter what. Y'all gonna do it my way or no way, cause cause I'm CK, man. I'm, I'm the Radio Rambo out here, man. I'm the man y'all gotta fear, man. I'm the man who's taking call everybody on the phone to beat Richie up. I'm the man who instigates everybody else. I'm the man who instigated Johnny. I'm this, I'm that. You're a pussy, punk. Gotta go.